Okay, so part three, we've got our paint application. We've got a 400 by 400 canvas. We've got our eight boxes across the top for our color picker, and we can draw on our screen, um, but we can't actually click on these colors to change the color of the pen. So right now we, we've drawn the color picker, but it doesn't have any functionality. So we need to add that functionality. Um, it's important to understand that each one of these rectangles is 50 wide. Well, it's the width divided by eight wide. Our width is 400. So 400 divided by eight. Um, this 400 divided by eight equals 50 for the width. And uh, the height is 20 of each one of these tiny rectangles. So we're going to go ahead and um, ignore this draw color picker. We want to make sure that we're not writing our code inside the setup. And we want to make sure that we're not writing our code inside the draw. The idea is we want to have a color that's going to be the color of our brush. And we want to be able to change it. So they can draw whenever they want. And when they click in this region up here, if I click in the white region, then it changes the color to uh, white. That idea that something needs to change should be a key, a, a signal to us that we need a variable. So we're going to create a variable called brush size, or it's not brush size, brush color. So br let brush color, and we'll just leave it here like this. We're going to declare the variable up here, declare a variable. That's global, so that I can access the global variable inside setup. I could access it, access that variable inside color picker, and I could access it inside draw. Inside the setup, I want to set the beginning brush color. So um, let's go ahead and say brush color equals, and we'll give our brush color a default color of maybe uh, black. We could use the named color, so there are a handful of named colors. Black is one of them, or we could use the color function to go zero, zero, zero for a brush color of black. Anywho, uh, that's the way that we would uh, set our brush color. Okay, at this at the start of the program. So when I run it, oh, color is not defined. I'm sorry, I don't want to uh, set that as color. I want to set. OK, so I don't want to set it as color with a capital C. The color command in P5JS is a lowercase c. So if we're using that, I can store brush color as uh, the color black as our default color. Default color black and then down here when I if I run it you should be able to see that like it's still not making it black even though I set the brush color to black well I've created a variable called brush color I've initialized it I've declared the variable brush color I've initialized it to a value of black but I never actually used that variable so when I make the stroke color I need to use the variable brush color brush color to actually make sure that the, the lines that I'm drawing are going to be black. And now you can see, okay, my brush color variable is being used. This comment is no longer uh, valid because our brush color is black. Okay. That's part one of, of using the color picker. Our color picker still doesn't work. Um, I want it to, I want to make it so that not only when I hover up in this region, but when I actually click in that region. So we're going to use the mouse pressed function that's built into P5. So we're going to say function mouse pressed, um, lowercase m, uppercase p. And then I'm going to give myself some curly braces, beginning and curly end of the curly braces. I need to make sure that this function is not inside any other functions. So here's the beginning and end of setup. 
here's the beginning and end of color picker. I see the ending curly brace. Here's the beginning and end of draw. I need to define my mouse press function at the root level, not inside any of those other curly braces. And then I need to think about, okay, what do I want this to do? Well, the, whenever the mouse is pressed, I want the computer to think about where is the mouse. And if the mouse is up in this top region, which um, right now is from 0, 0 in the upper right-hand corner to 50 characters to the right and 20 characters down. So that's 50, 20 up there. So we want to do an if-else statement to determine where the mouse position is. So I'm going to start like this and say if mouse y is less than 20. Okay. If mouse y is less than 20, this is the position 20. If I'm above that, then the mouse y position is less than 20. That means that I'm up here somewhere on the color bar. Okay. Now that that's, if I know that the mouse is up on the color bar, I'm going to start to determine if it's in the white region. So if the mouse x position is less than, I think this is 50. If the mouse x position is less than 50, then that means that I'm in the white region. I would then change the brush color to the color of white. So I'm going to say color, and the color for white is 255, 255, 255. So now, if I run my program, I should be able to click down here and draw. And then if I click in the white region, I can now draw with the white. That's good. Black still doesn't work. Red doesn't work. Orange doesn't work. But right now, this code makes it so that I can change from black to white. I'm going to go ahead and add an else if and test to see if I'm in the black region. So now, if I'm not less than 50, maybe I'm less than 100. Maybe I'm in this black region. Else, mouse x is less than 100. Well, if I'm less than 100, I'm in the black region. So I would change the brush color to black, which again is 0, 0, 0. I've written some code. We're going to test it. I can draw in black. I can change it to white. And I can change it back to black. So right now, you can see I can change between the black and the white stroke color <coughs> using my color picker. We're going to continue this pattern for the rest of the colors. Okay, Each time, um, this position is going to go up by 50 because with a 400 width uh, canvas, we have a 50 pixel wide. Each of these uh, rectangles is 50 pixels wide. So else if mouse x is less than 50 pixels further would be 150. Brush color <laughs> equals color. And then our third color is red. So 255 comma 0 comma 0 semicolon at the end of our statement and run it. I can draw in white, black, red, and our color picker is now starting to work. You can go ahead and finish the rest of these uh, else if statements and uh, that's it.